This is the unit. Mr. Hammond, I think we're back in business. How's your Monday going? Monday is going good. Putting out a couple fires. Got the most important thing on the planner done so far. Went to my grocery shopping so I can maintain the this is 40. What else? Got a marketing meeting at noon with you guys. Look at me. Now I'm gonna eat cucumber and chicken. You hid my start smart sweets, didn't you? I'm way too entertained by this. And the fact that you're pointing up there. Now you're screwing with me. Enjoying this way too much. No, no, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna dance. I'm gonna dance like a monkey. Oh, that was awesome. That was brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> now oh. we get to see how tall Chris is. Well done, sir. Oh no, you can get the. <laughs> well done, sir. Well done. <laughs> What have you got in here? I stole it. So nobody uses the smart board that we bought. We really just use it to display logos in a boardroom. So, so we stole it. And it's gonna live here until somebody wants to come get it. Probably gonna waste half an hour figuring out how to use it. But. <laughs> Beautiful. So let's back up even further. What's our goal? but it's not attached to something that is trying to sell them something, so they're more reluctant to want to share. How do you feel about uh, your new meeting structure, learnings from reading? Uh, I was nervous as hell going into it, but now I feel good. And I feel like I was able to spend everyone's time effectively. And like, how long was that meeting? We were all engaged the entire time. Gord Ross sent me something in the mail. And I'm really nervous and excited that he potentially got me a custom piece of art. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh my goodness, Gord. That is oh. amazing. It's painted. Yeah, like it's actually painted. That's how it like, came from an artist in China. <laughs> like you could tell right away. So what do you think the uh, 
supporter. <laughs> <laughs> Where does this rank on like gifts that you've received? This might be the uh, like random gifts to make me smile. This uh, this this uh, this might take the cake. Now, eat it. It was an amazing day today. Like I've been doing a lot of reading uh, about how to run better, uh, better team meetings and just meetings in general in any company. Even if you aren't running a meeting, just you yourself having to be in meetings. I've taken it upon myself to try and make meetings more interesting. And so many people see a meeting as like something they have to do. But the funniest thing about meetings is if you think about it, it is the only time that you all come together to determine and shape a company which your livelihood literally relies on but yet we dread meetings right so anyways i put a i put a lot of work and uh, a lot of studying into running them and today was the turning point today was the day that it was like okay everything i've learned i'm gonna try and put into practice so i even took it a step further and i went upstairs and i stole the um what thing what is that thing called smart board yeah the smart board so I, I went upstairs and s stole the smart board as you guys can see and uh, getting that thing out of a normal sized door frame into an elevator and down a flu it was a feat um, but it was totally the right move like the the energy and everything that we put into that meeting was phenomenal and normally meetings are set for one hour and they start with a meeting agenda and you go into it saying oh we're gonna talk about this stuff that only you know the average person only cares about maybe one or two items on the agenda. So then you go into it with a mindset of, I have to sit through this. We had no agenda other than we are going to figure this out. And I'm going to go into a longer form in a different video all about meetings. But I hope you guys can see the level of engagement and the fact that when that meeting was done, we all like fist bumped and we were so fired up after it. And it was a two hour plus meeting. It was phenomenal. Like it, it was just great. and to have that kind of energy and that kind of buy-in with everyone. And it's crazy when you take the time to get the buy-in to everyone on the team, everyone on the team becomes invested because it's their ideas and thoughts and opinions in it, right? But yet as leaders, we're so afraid the minute a meeting starts, the only thing we're worried about is you better end on time because everyone's dreading this. So anyways, it, it was a big turning point for me because um, one, it's it's shamefully, it's been a while since I've really, really, completely tore apart an aspect of how I lead and this was the first time that I put my head down put the work in stayed quiet about it but then kind of had that anxiety of like I really hope we're doing this right because I'm about to change a real fundamental aspect of our team and how we do things and it was a hit um, no credit to me I'm just regurgitating what I'm learning but it was definitely that moment of like, I hope this has the value that I felt it was gonna have, and it did. It was just like, what a phenomenal way to end the week. Like to have a meeting like that on a Friday and have everyone bought in and everything, and now I know there's dialogue going on in the background, those guys are on Microsoft Teams talking about it and everything. It was just a phenomenal, phenomenal week, so what a way to kick off the weekend.